Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flying Feathers again tonight and I'm tying uh, a top water Creelex Teddy little uh, surface pattern for bass but other fish will take it um, So, it's a cork bug and but slightly differently from normal cork bugs we've got some lead in the hook right? so the cork is shaped to a round front, flat in the bottom and quite a wide groove cut in it and then over the kinked popper hook, this is a Mustad CK45 uh, um, there's four inches of 2500 sled wire wrapped right. so I've already shaped and dry fitted my cork um, but you can buy pre-made Creelex corks um, and I'll put a link in the description from for the source, so that's Eastern Trophies Outfitters so I've dry fitted it already so I'm going to just get some gel type super glue and fill my my groove in my cork and then I'll seat that body in there and then I'll flood it with some more gel super glue and then I'll set that away to dry on my wheel make sure it's straight and leave that to go off uh, I'd recommend leaving that for well, overnight maybe because um, the gel super glue if it's not actually touching it and takes ages to dry so once that's set up you paint it you paint up your cork body I've just used silver nail polish for this and then I've coated it with epoxy and then allowed it to dry on the wheel. You don't need a super heavy layer of epoxy either, it can be quite light. Tying a red and silver version, you can tie them in different colours. Um, but just to increase the durability, I'm going to take another blob of super glue, attach it to the hook just at the back of the body, and I'll start my thread. It's just 140 denier fluorescent red I'm going to come back just around the bend a wee bit and trim away my thread just wipe away any excess glue there and I'll build A wee bump. Now the tail is um, Krennic Flash, right? It's just flash in a tube. It's a bit gimmicky, really, um, but it's like a crinkled flash. Uh, now I bought this because for this pattern because I had never used it before, but actually it's exactly the same as the Sibai uh, Sparkle here which comes in a, a better range of colours um, but I mean they're just the texture's the same it's just the same flash so I'm going to take a fairly thick bunch 15 strands maybe about twice a, uh, about twice the length that I want the tail um, I mean, this is the clinic comes in a tube and it's supposed to allow you to organise the flash and cut it to length but I, I don't really like cutting flash less than a full a full strand length 
Um, just ends up being a mess, really. You end up with like long, different long and short fibres all mixed in amongst each other. It's no use, really. So, what I'm going to do, I've got my length of flash, I'm going to fold it over my thread, catch it in right behind the body there, the popper head, take it back. In this way, it's impossible for it to slip out. I'm actually going to just thicken that up a wee bit. Um, another two or three. I'll just do the same thing again. Fold it over my thread. Get that locked in. And then cut it the length you like. Slightly uneven just so they don't clump together. Uh, at this stage, again, just to keep a bit of toughness in the fly, I'm going to just take some head cement. Stick it over those uh, thread wraps. And then the last bit of tie-in really is just um, the collar, which is an H2O original streamer brush in red in this case. Obviously change the colours, black, chartreuse, white, it's up to you. So tie that in, I'm just going to wind it forward, one turn in front of the other, doubling it as I go. There I've got about three turns in, I'm going to catch it underneath the body and the underside there. And I've bent it back against the thread. Now I'm going to take my wee wire snips. Trim it and I've left a wee tag in there. Oops. Which you need to be careful of. I've just snapped my thread on the the cut end of the the wire. Start it again. It's not a disaster. So my tag end. I'm just going to take my thumbnail and fold it back. So I've tied tied it in one direction and I'm tying it back and the other. The stage will just come in and whip finish. Twice. Try to get that in the thread. Turn that away. And then, same as at the start, we'll just come in with a wee touch of super glue on the thread wraps there. Got a bit there, got a bit of fibre that I've put glue on, so I'll just slip that away because it will just make a mess. And then sort of run that over the thread. And that's it. That's the top water creel X. It's a sort of slidery diver bug. Um, it's got a big round face, but a weight, so it really shimmies in the water. Very effective fly for small mouth, but I'm sure it'll work for other patterns as well. Um, it might even be worth trying in salt water if you change the hook. So, hope you enjoyed that, hope that was useful. Um, thanks very much for watching, hope we tie some of these up and uh, tight lines guys, bye.